how you doing everybody um, I'm moving on to my next project here what I have is this uh, Honda I think it's a 21 inch anyway Lisa saw this on her way over one day it was out in the garbage but it wasn't quite out in the garbage it's like three quarters of the way out of the driveway so after she got here I said let me take a ride up there with the truck and then I knocked on the guy's door and he said that I could have it it has a seized engine on it um, everything's fully intact though it, it didn't get stripped down or anything it even has the bagger it's a self propelled and it has that crazy clutch for the uh, blade um, it's been laying around for about three years now because I want to keep it a Honda I want to find a Honda engine for it so one of my customers here he brought this machine in has uh, pretty much the same engine I don't know if the crankshaft is compatible or not but what this needed was a starter recoiler it was just bad I tried to uh, unseize it and I couldn't and also the shut off cable was seized and it snapped and the guy didn't want to put any money into it he just told me to keep the uh, mower um, it runs good I'm gonna start it up right now for you the carburetor is a little dirty they, this sat for about a year or two so far so I have to kind of run it with the choke on but I'll show you uh, how it runs I'm probably gonna have to change the carburetor off that because that is a throttle um, I'm going to see, I'll decide what to do then. The main thing is I want to check and make sure the clutch and everything will fit uh, this engine that we're going to put on the other uh, machine here. I had it running already. Okay, so we're going to uh, start taking it apart. I oiled up all the engine mount bolts. And hopefully uh, I could get the bolts out without any problems. The other, uh, the other mower here, I don't care if I snap the bolts because the engine seized. It's no good. So... Okay, so this is the uh, Craftsman lawn mower with the good Honda engine on it that I have on the table right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this blade off and then there's another cover up here because this was a power drive also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbolt the engine. I'm going to slide the, the engine back a little bit to get the belt off and we'll see what happens then. And I'm just hoping that the uh, engine mount bolts are not going to break. I sprayed them up real good from the top so it gets down into the threads with a PB blaster. Okay so the um, mounting bolts they all came out pretty easy. So now um, I'm going to take off this this piece down here that the uh, what do you call it the power drive belt rode on. It's the uh, blade mount so what I did was I screwed in, <clears throat> I screwed, screwed in the bolts um, for the blade mount, for the blade. Mm -hmm. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to use a puller. I'm using this puller. I'm pretty sure I bought this puller at Harbor Freight also. And I'm going to take the air gun and I'm going to try to get this whole thing off the shaft here. Because I know on the Honda uh, it's a whole different set up and now I'm just going to hope that the uh, the crankshaft will accept all the parts for the Honda I won't know that for a while well that was a fight right to the finish here I used the, the uh, short extension to stick in there before and 
I ran out of room. So then I used, tried to use this. I hope I didn't mess nothing up in there right now. I hope not. Oh, no wonder it won't go in because the piece isn't on in there anymore. I'm not thinking right. Anyway, the piece was coming out to here. So I was having a real hard time. The, uh, after a while, I used this short extension. Then I used this bolt here. And then that bottomed out. But it was enough for me to use this longer extension here. And then the whole thing popped out. It took me a while to do. Good thing I didn't film it. Okay. About 10 15 minutes, not too bad. Okay, now I have the Honda engine up here. You could probably see how black the oil was in there. You either have to make sure you check the oil and keep your oil changed. I had a couple that ran out of oil and caused a seizure. So, okay, so we have this uh, Honda machine up here. So, so far what I did was I took the blade off and this is the whole clutch assembly up here. I think I'm going to end it for now. So this will be part one. This has that uh, quadro cut cutting blade system. It has the double blade that goes on top of one another here. They do cut pretty good. So, so I have to deal with this clutch. Hopefully that's not too hard to get off. If I break off the bolts taking the engine off, uh, it doesn't matter because the engine's garbage. Um, okay, we're going to end it here. And still I have to uh, figure out... I'm definitely going to have to use this carburetor linkage here uh, with the throttle. Because this doesn't have an engine brake. It gets shut off by uh, turning down the throttle on it. That's the way, only way to kill the engine. So you can start this up without pulling a handle. What the handle's for is for the power drive and for the uh, blade, the clutch blade to start working. And the cables are all good. I made sure that if the cables were bad, I wouldn't even consider fixing this, fixing this up. But I figure it would be a video. Plus, I have nothing, nothing better to do right now. I'm all caught up with the gravely work. So this is going to be it for part one, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you on part two.